After spending more than three weeks on the road, we were reaching history and information overload. But when Beverly and I arrived in the city of Toledo, we found more tolerance for beautiful and historic scenes to pepper our senses. Toledo, Spain is called the Imperial City and the city of the three cultures, since Christians, Arabs, and Jews lived here together for centuries. Walking around behind the city walls is like touring a giant museum dating back more than 2,000 years. The Celts settled here and hung around until they began fighting with the Romans for territory around 200 BC. As a visitor to the ancient city, it's not a matter of how to find historic sites to see, but which ones do you choose to visit because there is just so much history and culture packed together here, it's almost impossible to see it all. We happened to be here on the day that crowds were gathering to celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and one man stopped us and said it would be an amazing celebration in the city's main square during the afternoon. We heard the revelers singing from about a mile away later on in the afternoon. We wandered the streets marveling at the cathedral and churches, open only to celebrants with tickets, and looking at the shops selling gilded items and swords the town has long been famous for making. I'm pretty certain the historians are not sure what artifacts and such are contained in the ground. They were excavating a building in the 1980s and stumbled across ruins that proved to be old Roman baths. It's speculated that Toledo takes its name from the Jewish word Tulatula, meaning the wandering. They moved into the region around 4 AD and soon had a large community in Toledo. The Germanic tribes ruling the city conducted several Jewish purges, killing and removing many of the Jewish families. The Muslims suffered the same fate. In 1492, all were given the option of converting to Christianity, leave, or be killed. Still, both cultures had tremendous influence on the city, as is noted in the architecture as seen in the Puerta del Sol, or Gate of the Sun. The city became the capital of the Hispania region in the 6th century. A surprising amount of historic architecture remains in Toledo, despite the modern world encroaching on it closer and closer, like the Puerta de Basigra, which has thousands of cars pass by it every day. I have to admit, the Christmas decorations in the roundabout next to it seem a bit out of place. It is right next to the amazing Lugo Roman walls. 46 of the original towers are still intact as the wall encircles the old city. Another engineering feat. The St. Martin's Bridge was built in the 1300s on the west side of town over the Tagus River that surrounds three sides of the old city. The center span of the five spans supporting the bridge is about 145 feet wide, the largest of its time. The dam just downstream from the bridge keeps the water backed up to it. An old Moorish bathhouse is located right at that dam. Toledo remains one of the few places on the planet where the ancient and the modern meet in a cultural concoction that is nothing short of fascinating.